driving you home live from the Melbourne Cup above the horse stables, everybody, <laughs> and joining us above the stables, <laughs> Melissa George. Yeah, I'm honoured to be above the stables. Thank you so much for dragging me from the tent of Emirates yes. you were in to the, above the stables. You were in the exclusive Emirates marquee. Yeah, I, I got a bit scared now. I'm above the stables. I thought you've, it was all class. You have, not. You've now come to our <laughs> abode here <laughs> with the, the, the waft of horse excrement. <laughs> it is, it's kind of exclusive too, but more just because no one wants to come up here. <laughs> it's really great. Like, my husband was like, baby, it smells like horses around here. And I was like, mm. hey, where the hell are we? Yeah, you don't <laughs> see many horses at the up, but you certainly can smell them. <laughs> well, let's, let's quickly talk about the, the, the great Emirates Marquee, mm. uh, or they're calling it a marquee. It's more of a mansion. Now, you, I understand this is your first racing carnival. Yes. When you were told you are going to an Emirates tent, did you expect it to be a multi-level bonanza <laughs> with powder rooms and a restaurant? I had no idea. It's it is massive. out of this world. It's what massive. they put on. That's you know that's sort of the, the finer aspect of the of the carnival here. It is. We were in there before, and it, you could almost at the moment like it's quite big. Have sort of like a Shetland pony <laughs> Melbourne Cup running around in the middle. <laughs> you could dwarfs on their back. With the dwarfs, <laughs> could be a nice image. Yeah, I think it's kind of offensive. Why didn't the they think of that? <laughs> I, think, I think that's exactly what Emirates. As a prestige brand, have been lacking for many, many years. Check out we're gondola sh- hats, like because it's a you know Venetian, it's a Venice theme. Give you a nice look too. <laughs> hey, Matt, can you describe your outfit for us? It's um, it's purple. It's like a beautiful purple. No, I can't let a guy describe an outfit. It's like a beautiful let me describe an purple outfit. Curtain. God, you, you purple curtain. No, no, no. Can I just tell you what it is? It's yeah. Louis Vuitton couture from Paris. Oh wow, that's much better than the and purple. And the guys curtain. go, it's a purple curtain. Yeah, yeah. What is French for purple curtain? It's got feathers and different colours. And your necklace. Is that what's that That's like? It's from Linny's. It's a pearl, like cashew pearl strand. Oh, because it looks like sort of rough, lumpy pearls. <laughs> Yes, they're not the, the pure smooth pearls. Cashew uh, pearls are the ones that sort of grow out of like without a nucleus. So okay. they're more, almost like gifts of nature. So they're, are they more rare? I'm a rare? gift of nature right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> are they rarer? It's they're rarer. Lumpy. Is that, is that, yeah, they're lumpy. Oh, not yeah. quite perfect is, is actually a nice pearl. Great. Oh, yeah. Listen, I mean, the, 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 the race that stops the nation is what's described as, mm-hmm. the, as the cup. You are obviously outside of this nation quite a bit, doing movies around the yeah. world. Do you ever stop as well and think of the Melbourne Cup? Is it something that, 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 that does it stop other nations? I suppose you want to ask. The we get Melbourne the... Cup stops the, the, the world. Yes, it does. <laughs> Have you ever been out in the shoot? I mean, do you follow it at all? I mean, I understand you're from Perth. Do yeah. they stop over there? Does it actually stop? Yeah, they the do. My mum and dad are at the Hyatt now having lunch, watching the Cup. Oh, wow. In Perth, yeah. It stops the nation. <laughs> it stops Perth. It bre- I mean, I suppose... Like, That's the nation. I suppose yeah. surgeons and stuff, you'd probably keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't want to wake up and have... No, 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 they I'm, take the day off. I'm sorry, Melissa. They keep them asleep throughout the car, and then they go in there for the for the operating. There was you know? a complication. We were just about to uh, fix your lungs up, and then the race started, so one of them has <laughs> deflated. The doctor won, yeah. We don't want to go against the saying. Um... <laughs> Well, so we wanted to, uh, to kind of finish up here. Um, Hamish's housemate, John. My housemate, John, reckons... You have a housemate? He knows you. I have two housemates. You don't live alone? No. God, God. I thought you guys were doing really good. Hey, no, Melissa, hey Melissa, Melissa, you're talking to some guys broadcasting from the stable. <laughs> from the stable. <laughs> and one this of them... No, no, no. I think you guys are doing really good. We've got to get rid of the housemate. And one of them is wearing the exact same tie he wore on his 21st. I rocked up and it's I said, no, oh, it's, it's, this is my 21st tie, but it's a good tie. <laughs> I said 21st time? I said, hey, you have to throw ties out. No, you do. You just have to wash them since you're 21st and also evolve. That's a good one, though. It's it's Louis Vuitton. It's Louis Vuitton? Slash Roger David. Is that Roger David? They're cheap but good. Let's not get too sort of caught up in the rest of the suit's country road. That's lovely. Country road's the best. I love country road. It's just a dodgy tie. Yeah. My housemate, John, reckons he knows you from Kalamunda back in Perth, right? Roller skating? He used to roller skate. <laughs> he used to be a speed skater, oh. <laughs> and he says that he used to train with you. Does the name John Darnell? Yes, of course. Is your housemate? Yeah, John wow. Darnell. And used to do roller skating. I was a champion skater, and, and when you said Kalamunda, I thought the only thing in Kalamunda was his great roller skating ring, so I had a feeling it was... Now, he told us that, the, that there was a move that you do called the, the rolling camel or something. Is there like a... Um, the travelling camel. <laughs> travelling camel. What is that? When you imagine that word, What's it gives the... you this weird image, right? John, we, we were laughing at John. We go, we're going to bring this up, and Melissa's going to go, 
have traveling no camel, idea. yeah. What's I did them really good. What is, what's the traveling camel? You're on you one just... skate, the other leg is way up in the air, yeah. and you're flipping down the roller skating oh, yeah. ring. I like how you see camels do that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Broome. Haven't you seen them in Broome? Coming back from the sunset? <laughs> Melissa, thank you so much. Uh, you're, of course, a guest of Channel 7 today, mm. and thank you so much for coming out thank and chat you. with us. You're with Hamish and Andy. We're driving Thanks, you home man. from the Melbourne Cup.